Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Finally got my Vosit, Vosit palette. This is the one in Tahiti. Oh my gosh, please be amazing. Otherwise I'm gonna be sad. Oh, it is amazing. I'm gonna be depotting all of my MAC lipsticks. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I'm a freelance makeup artist and it's just handy to have all of your lipsticks in here then carrying around all of your MAC lipsticks. If you guys wanna watch me fill out this palette, then keep watching. So this is my Vosit or Vosit palette. I bought mine from beautylish.com. I think it's got about 24 sections. And this is the MAC Modern Browns lip palette. So I'm going to be depotting this. And I've also got my isopropyl alcohol, which I'm going to be using to sanitize all my lipsticks. And I've also got my metal spatula, which I'll be using to cut up all the lipsticks and smush them into the palette. Now, because I don't have a label maker right now, I decided that it would probably be best if I wrote down all of the names of the lipsticks in order that I'm going to be depotting them into the palette because that way I don't have to think about it. I can just go according to the names and it's a good way to keep track because after I've depotted them, I probably wouldn't remember which ones are which besides my most favorite ones. Um, so yeah, then I just started digging them out. Um, as you can see, this one gives you a lot of product in these Pro Lip palettes, which is surprising. Because this was a brand new palette, I didn't actually have to sanitize anything. And as you can see, there's no real technique that I have besides just taking it out little by little and putting it into the palette because the palette, the individual sections are quite deep, but it is a small section. So if you were to put in too much, it's kind of difficult to... Um, smush them in and make them really fit and as I found out later on it fits exactly one full lipstick um, one of those tube ones so I found that doing it little by little ensured that you use up most of the space and then I just went ahead and flattened it out a little bit but to be honest I kind of like it looking a bit textured it just looks a bit more artistic. Anyway, so I moved on. I cleaned my spatula in between so the colors didn't get um, muddled up. And then I just went for it. Now the cool thing about this is you can also back to MAC all of these products. So after I was done doing this, I took all my empty containers to MAC and I think I got about three more lipsticks. So I ended up filling out my palette a bit more towards um, that I wasn't shown in this video but the only thing is is that the colors got a bit out of order because I had based this palette on the current lipsticks and when I got the new ones I don't really know which colors I was getting so keep that in mind that it is difficult to change around when you've already filled it out. Also here you can see that I'm sanitizing one of my lipsticks. So all I did was spray isopropyl alcohol on a tissue. I'd wipe the lipstick off like from the top, the sides, everything. And then I would go ahead and I'd sanitize it again with some more isopropyl alcohol. So that ensured that everything is wiped off, everything's clean and sanitary and there are no germs. And just to clarify, um, I did return a whole bunch of my other MAC products when I was doing the back to MAC, hence why I got about three lipsticks. You have to return six empty products. So I depotted some more, um, some pigments, a blush, another um, MAC lipstick that I found that was like a duplicate of one of the shades in here. And this is where it gets fun. You can just slice off the lipsticks. As you can see, it fits perfectly, but you do have to smush it down so you can put the rest in. I just picked it up and showed you guys. I think that was Velvet Teddy. And here's a little clip of me smushing it in. Um, I found that I really had to make sure that there wasn't much gaps because then it just fits in a lot nicer. Um, I mean, you could also save some stored away for later if you wanted to refill it, but it is meant to fit a full MAC lipstick. Alternatively, if you wanted to melt down your lipsticks, you could. Personally, I didn't want to do that because I did not want to alter the formula in any way using heat. Um, I just preferred to take it out exactly how it was and just put it into the palette. And I actually personally like the way that it looks um, slightly messy because you're going to be taking it out with a spatula anyway when you're using it on clients. So I'm just sanitizing another lipstick here. I think this is MAC Twig, which is a satin finish. 
do you guys want to see an updated MAC lipstick lip swatch video? Because I filmed one previously, but after this video and doing back to MAC and getting a few more lipsticks, I've got about 9 or 10 new shades. So if you guys want to see another lip swatch video using um, all of the MAC lipsticks, then give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and then I can film that for you guys. One of the colors that I got from Back to Mac is the color Morange, which is the bright, vibrant orange. I haven't even tried that on myself, but I think it would look really good on medium to deep skin tones. I'm just going to speed up the clips and let them play. Um, I found that some lipsticks were a bit more difficult than others, especially my Retro Matte lipsticks. They were a bit crumbly when I was trying to put them in, so it was really important to smooth them out, which you guys will see later, like Ruby Woo and I think was Flat Out Fabulous. Over here I just realized that I wanted to move one of the shades down. So be really sure about which shades you want to put where because it's really difficult to take it out and clean it up. Like as you can tell, I made a bit of a mess. If you guys enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up if you have any requests then leave them down in the comments and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i upload new videos every single week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys so that's another bit of little um this is amazing and i'll see you guys in my next video oh my gosh my almost choked my spit